Alright, today we're going to be taking a quick look at this Teslong NTS 500 industrial rated endoscope. Now there are a few features I really like about this tool over others that I've used and one of which is that it's a self-contained unit. There's no need to make a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or USB connection to a phone or a tablet. Everything you need to perform an inspection is right here. Another feature that sets this tool apart over others that I've used is that this uh, this probe has three cameras on it. You've got a front facing camera and one on each side and one of the side cameras is also a short focus. Okay, each camera also has an adjustable LED. Okay, we can record uh, video and still images with this uh, and it gets great reviews on Amazon. So I'm gonna link to this product down below for you so you can read additional reviews. But what we're gonna do right now is check the tool out uh, and then we'll put it through a couple of scenarios uh, to see how it works. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. All right, the NTS 500 includes a 16 and a half foot probe and you can see that it's fairly rigid. Okay, we can place that in a particular spot and it'll stay there. All right, it's easy to change the camera uh, view. It's this button right here. Okay, now we're pointing down. Now we're pointing up. And now we're front facing again. All right, uh, if I wanted to enable the LED, it's this button here. And then three more times, and each one will dim a little bit. All right, the, uh, the unit itself has an LED or a set of LEDs right on it. So if you're working in uh, out in the field and it's dimly lit, or you need to be able to see something, you've got LEDs right here. Okay, it's easy to change modes. Right now we're in picture mode or still image mode. If I click the M, we're in video mode. If I click the M again, we're in playback mode. So you can play back videos or view images that are stored on the 32 gig micro SD card that is also included with this, okay? So this includes 32 gigs of storage uh, when you purchase it, all right? Now it also includes a USB cable. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to pull the images right off from the unit, uh, but if not, you could remove the SD card and pull the images and video off that way, okay? Uh, to access settings, there's a little gear icon here, and then uh, you can navigate through the settings using the arrows, and then make a selection using OK, all right? And uh, you can also set it to auto power off because it is rechargeable. Um, so right now I have it set to, to not do that, but you can set it for five or 10 minutes. So if you're out in the field and you're working, you happen to leave it on, and you don't want the battery to die, uh, that'd be a nice thing to do, okay? Uh, what we're going to do, oh, I, last but not least, in other videos that I've uh, created, people will know that I find a lot of value in storage or carrying cases, okay? And this is a nice one because it's, uh, it's molded for the unit, um, and it's going to keep it protected when it's not in use, uh, and it also kind of gives it a nice storage spot, okay? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put this through a couple of different scenarios. See, right now we're in playback mode. I hit the M, we're back to camera. Let's go ahead and uh, run it through a couple of different scenarios and see how it works. All right, so I know you can't see very well out here because of the glare, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit record. This is the record button here. Okay, and when you do that, there's a little uh, red dot in the lower left. I'll see if I can get a better shot of that inside. Uh, and it also shows you a timer that shows how long we've been recording for, okay? There's a microphone icon here that shows we are recording audio. And what I'm gonna do is take this video and I'll transfer it to the computer and put it right in the video. Uh, hopefully it'll be a, a better shot, okay? Let me uh, go ahead and move the camera around a little bit and we'll see if we can uh, have you guess what we're looking at. All right, this will be, uh, what are we looking at, clip number two here. I'm gonna long press on the power button to turn it on, all right? 
I'm going to hit the mode to switch it to video. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it had a camera icon. Incidentally, it'll record uh, 720p videos, and it'll do 1080 still images, all right? I'm going to go ahead and hit record again. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the uh, record icon on the lower left there. And there's a microphone icon there indicating that we are recording audio, all right? Let me move the camera around a little bit. Maybe we'll even change the, uh, the camera lenses again. Okay, let's uh, change the the uh, view here. We can reduce the light if it's too much light. That's not at all. Okay. All right, let's do a uh, what are we looking at clip number three. All right, here's uh, one more clip of what are we looking at here, okay? Whatever it is, it's quite nasty, as you can tell. Go down a little further here. Let's switch the uh, view. I would say whatever this is, we need to clean it ASAP, all right? Let's do one last clip of what are we looking at. We'll call this one good. All right, this is the last clip of what are we looking at, and I have the answer for you. It's the Teslong NTS 500. Uh, this endoscope produces high quality video and images. It's got triple lenses on the probe. Um, here, let me just take a quick image for you because that's something we haven't covered. We get Connor. And uh, you can disable the shutter sound as well if you want to. Um, but certainly if you have questions or comments, leave those down below along with your answers on what have we been looking at. Uh, and if you want to read more reviews on this uh, tool, please click that Amazon link down below as well. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber and you want to hit and see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button. All right. Have a great day and take care of yourself.